Welcome back to the part 13 of my Wizards 101 playthrough. Basically today what I'm going to try to do is finish the rest of the side quest here and defeat hopefully two bosses this episode. Let's, let's start off with Worm Guts, which is likely uh, undead. Well, it looks like it. Worm Guts, obviously undead. I'll bet you are here for the sleepwalker's timepiece. Ha! You won't get it. Mm, it looks like it is time for Worm Guts to teach you a lesson. Yeah, right. Okay, I've dealt with a lot of that from since I got here. Okay, I'll try to get rid of the skeletal warrior in one hit. Yay! That gets rid of a turn. Okay, using the dark picture of trap. It's not bad, but it's not exactly good. Neither would that be, but I'm hoping he has some other stuff that has some... Uh... Okay. Like this! Great, I'm actually getting lucky on this fight. Hey, no. <laughs> Teach me a lesson, huh? <laughs> okay, let's get going. Let's get going. Oh, and FYI, I'm gonna try to roleplay a bit more. I'm noticing I didn't go do it that much, so... Timepiece! What a dangerous artifact. Yeah, it is. I will return it to the museum in Marleybone. It can be safely locked away there. Let's hope so. Huh. Let's see if there is any other um, quests here. Nope. That's just the quest I got at level 12. I'm just gonna pull the trick off. Because I don't wanna waste mana. And effectively I'm doing the second boss here. Well, I think this... I'm gonna go save the elf. Oh, and just so you know from the first video, the smith for this area is right behind here. So let's get going. 
Fire Theater, so let's go save that or else. I'll put both the bosses' links down below. So let's see. Um, both bosses' info. Well, drops. Don't you know it's rude to interrupt a performance? But you are just in time, wizard. This is your final act. Okay, this guy does seem to be crazy, so let's save him. Definitely can save him. Let's see. I want to take out the minion first. Let's see. This will definitely take you out. Ah! Great, good luck, and then it just falls on me. Let's try again. There we go. Now, with the snowman. As you pour the potion Sorry, into his mouth, mouth. Alakane's swift arrow shivers and his maddened eyes soften. Great. I, I remember! I was cursed, as were all my people. Did Private Quinn send you? Yes, he did. Tell him his arrow saved me, as mine <laughs> once did him. The curse. I can feel the effects of the curse weakening. Now that we know it was the Banshee's curse, we will guard against it. Tell Private Quinn that we owe him a debt of gratitude. And thanks to you, wizard, for freeing all of us. Great, thanks. Now, if I remember... That's strange. Where's the history of fire magic? If I remember correctly, the history of fire magic should be in this building somewhere. Or maybe it's not, and it's in another area. Boy, that might be a little bit of a problem. Uh, 
Uh, just let me check a little bit to figure out where that book is. Because I want to show you guys where it is as well. I'm kind of nervous about that too, so see you in a bit. I found the silly thing. Turns out it was right by the boss, so I have to fight Andrew's Swift Arrow again. I'll just cut this part out, actually. So, I'm back again. I just totally forgot it was over here. I must have not seen it. So there's the history of fire and night magic. So I just have to go talk to... Sergeant Quinn about the thing. Must have slipped my memory or something. Anyways, let's get going. Shouldn't be that hard. I'm glad to see the elves again. Even if they are a bit annoying. Oh, I find them cute. <laughs> no. I never thought the curse would win, even for a moment. <laughs> Still, I'm glad you helped my friend Prince Alakane. No problem. Our cat Ellie is much too dangerous, young wizard. Someone needs to warn the headmaster. I'll do Please it. Please go tell Headmaster Ambrose about the curse upon the fire elves. I will stay here and warn the others. And effectively, this is that's the last quest you need to finish in Wizard City itself. Well, last no, not last quest. Last area you have to finish in Wizard in this uh, Wizard City. However, I want to do the other two areas coming up before I leave. So, let's get going. Yeah, I got, uh, it's not, that's, I got some, um, not great news, but, oh, huh? it turned out. Ah, it's my favorite student. Yeah. I hear you've been exploring the different streets around the city. Yes, I have. The headmaster listens intently as you tell him about the events of Firecat Alley. I was afraid of this. Yeah, of Malastare course. is trying to keep us from finding out his real plans by causing chaos and panic on every street. We must find out what he is up to for the safety of our school. I will have to think on this some more. He has found many creatures to help do his yep. bidding. I fear that he has sinister designs, not only for our world, but for all the others as well. Yeah. You have done quite well, young this wizard. I am this. proud of you. Keep up the good work. Okay. I have a very important task for you today, young wizard. Your studies will have to wait. Oh, okay. You've done such a great job elsewhere. I could use your magic on Colossus Boulevard. I had to lock the gate because the street had become too dangerous. Okay. Professor Grey Rose summoned an army <laughs> to run out the ghosts. Something must have gone very wrong with her spell. Okay. The gate guard, Private O'Doyle, can tell you more. Please find him in the shopping district and see if he needs help. No problem. I know these assaults on our city streets are related. Sorry. Someone must be working for Malastare. I may know who is behind this, but to be certain, I'll need to access the old library archives. That's the main quest thing. I'm gonna come back once I finish the other two areas. The other two areas are that talking to that guy that needs help and this one. When I talked about new rules, this is where this new rule begins to start. Let's go. Ah, thank goodness the headmaster sent a wizard to aid us. No problem. We could really use your help. Strange creatures have taken over Colossus Boulevard. 
Okay. We don't know where they came from, but they eat everything in sight. We call them gobblers. Okay. I admire you wizards. My niece studies ice magic at Ravenwood, but I'm worried about her. Okay. She said she was doing some school project on Colossus Boulevard, but I don't know why she has to do it now. Okay, no problem. Would you go, go speak and to and her and see if she needs any help? Her name is Mindy Pixie Crown. Okay, so this is Beware, the Beware, young wizard. The street you now have access to, Colossus Boulevard, contains battles which are handled a little differently. There can be more opponents at one time compared to the amount of players participating in the battle. Be very careful. So this is like two, three enemies at a time. Well... Two enemies basic, plus one enemy at a time. So I'm gonna start with this one actually, and then um, go talk to her to end this um, this episode off with. Hello. That's so sweet of my uncle to send you. No I'm so glad you came too. I've been doing some ice research for Professor Grey Rose, but I had to stop. I really need your help. Okay, I can do what what do you need to do? This is horrible! First the gobblers showed up and started eating everything in sight, and then these evil snowmen? They're all over the place! We must get rid of them, but there are so many! Hey, I know! Why don't you defeat some of them and see if that will chase the rest away? Okay, I'll take that up. So anyways, that's the end of this episode. So basically now we now we have access to the fire, ice, storm areas, as well as the, um, the So basically the only area we well technically we don't death to but in the non cave, so So I'm basically gonna finish this one, then do the tower thing and then end the um and then end off the thing. Hopefully I can get this all recorded by um, for um, St. Patrick's Day because there's something I want to show you about the end. So, so see you later. Bye.